hello guys what's up welcome back to my channel in case you are joining for the first time thank you so very much for stopping by my name is grace and you are highly welcome today's video i'll be sharing with you how you can apply your glitter eyeshadow and um i know like guys i know i've not been active i've been down for some couple of days and i'm back to fit now so guys in case you're joining me for the first time please subscribe to the channel turn off notification bell so you don't mix out any new video follow me on my ig so that we can be talking and jason and having like that connection you know okay guys so if you like this look that i have right here right now which is blue and pink glitter look then let's head into the full video and how i achieve all this look okay guys so to start up i'm going to take my elegate pro concealer in the shade of cotton i'm going to lay it in with my lid and blend it together so you want to use a fluffy brush that can go in very well and make everything perfect like the blend out perfectly and i'm going to set the concealer with my powder so this is more like to make it to see so we don't have any crease out next thing that i'm tapping in is my primer and this one is from ever beauty so i'm trying to make to work that into the crease because that is where the most work is going to be done and i needed more like a pop out look so i'm going to take my primer to bring it out more i'll be working with different palettes today and the first shade is from Huda Cosmetics palette and I'm picking this warm cream shade from there I'm going to use that to work gently into the crease part and blend that in After building that in I'm going to take this pinky shade from Golly Flat Cosmetics and guys just go in with the shade or the pa any palette that you prefer using this is more like very very pink and i love the pigment part of this eyeshadow like their products are very very cute if you can manage it is very very nice so i'm blending that into my lid So I'm going to pick this purple. This is warm purple. Guys, I'm not good with colors. So just go in and I'm going to tap it right to the lid. Like the crease part and blend it into that shade that we have right there. i'm going in with the same primer that i use and i'm using that to cut my crease i'm starting from the center i prefer starting from the center then afterward you start going around to the areas that you want to cut like that part it shows and it, it actually make it work better afterward i'm going to take this light purple from my um, uh, mini masquerade jemmy so i'm going to use that to set that crease that we cut that we cut guys so i'm just tapping it more in gently and work it also so just make sure that you are careful when it comes to this the thing that i'm going to do is to take my blue glitter and this glitter oh my god you just have to be very very careful guys whenever you are working with glitter you have to be very very careful extra careful going to be lapping it tapping and tapping and tapping i like to make sure that everything stick together and also it gives that unique part of the layout i don't want it to have a thicker side and 
a lighter part so i prefer to dip my brush into the glitter blue then start packing that in For my liner, I'm taking my ADS liner. I'm going to take mascara and bring out my natural lashes. So this is where you have to be very very careful like extra careful so you don't ruin the whole thing basically normally whenever you're going in with your glitter eyeshadow definitely everywhere your face will be covered if you're not careful so you have to be very very careful and also you have to apply that before foundation and the rest of your face guys i went off camera to apply my first lashes so i'm going to use my um happy planet face wipes and i'm going to wipe all the ones that fell that like the fallout from the glitter of my face then i'm going to apply my foundation work on the rest of my face so this is the reason why you have to apply your glitter eyeshadow before your foundation because you have a fallout no matter what you have a fallout from there like oh my god look at my crazy oily face so guys i'm going to use my pond long lasting oil contour then my hd um primer a little bit tap a little bit right to the areas where i mostly have oil guys to be honest with you there is power in this pond like pond long lasting oil control there is power in it i'm going to show you from a to z like there is no skipping of this i'm going to show you how it's going to work magic right now on my face like the oil that you're seeing right now is going to be something different so you can see how my face the oil on my face actually dried up oh man i love this for my under eye i'm going to take this purple color and mix it with this black then add a little bit of this pink together i hope my camera is getting this and i will start off from the back side start blending that in So I wanted more like a smoky under eye. So I wanted more like a smoky under eye and that is why I am mixing those two together. So depending on the one that you want to use, don't don't do the one I am using. Don't create try to create another of the look. Just try to create another look that you want. And bring out the under lash okay guys so this is final look of my tutorial thank you so very much for stopping by if you're joining me for the first time please don't go without subscribing to this channel support it and leave a comment down below let me know if you like this video if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section and yes till next time guys i will see you in my next video stay safe stay active and please guys follow me on my ig follow me on my twitter follow me i made like a very very funny videos <laughs> just like a funny talk on tiktok and i also do that same 
thing on uh, Twitter. So guys, you don't want to mix that. Please subscribe and follow me on all of my IG. I'll see you in my next video.